Hi everybody. We're going to take a detailed look today at the Harrop TVS 2300 supercharger and compare it to the standard 5 litre supercharger found in your Jaguar Land Rovers. This is the TVS 1900, so this is the Eaton 1900 supercharger. We're going to look at the machining on here, we're going to look at the casting and what makes this TVS 2300 such a good supercharger and a good upgrade to fit to your car. So we're going to jump straight into the actual casting of the superchargers. This isn't a modified version of the stock supercharger. So the TVS 2300 Harrop charger is from the ground up a completely new supercharger. So they don't take the old one and machine the insides and mill it out and try and make it a little bit bigger and flow more air. It is a brand new casting. It's their own in-house developed casting for this engine, for the 5 litre supercharged JLR AJ133 engine. What this allows them to do is actually get rid of any of the restrictions that are on the standard supercharger, the standard Eaton charger here, and it allows them to flow the air in the way that they want to flow the air for the gear set that's fitted. So you'll see this as you get closer to the charger, you'll see little subtle differences in the design. You'll see it sits a little bit wider. We'll see some fins down the side here to allow for that bigger gear set. When you look at the back of the charger, you'll notice the bearings sit a little bit further back as well. Interesting when you look inside the charger, so you'll see the top down view, the aperture, the opening for the airflow from the actual charger itself is much bigger. The standard one has been increased by about 20 to 25% larger. So it's been increased, it's been opened and machined, still maintaining the strength that's required, but it allows that extra flow to come out. It also allows you to see the wonderful gear set inside, the 2300 gear set that we'll get onto shortly. But you can see that much easier from the top and you can really get an idea of how much more airflow is coming through there from the different design. Moving towards the front of the charger, but still looking inside the charger, if you will, you'll see there's barely any wasted space. On the standard charger, there's quite a large volume or void inside the charger itself that isn't being utilised. Basically, the blades of the charger don't fit there. It's a smaller, shorter gear set, and it's effectively just wasted space. The TVS 2300 Harrop charger is making use of all of the available space inside the charger to get as much airflow, to create as much potential boost pressure that we need for tuning, basically making this a really good upgrade. If we look at the front of the charger, we'll see subtle differences in the machining. Again, just optimizing the fitment of components. Remember, this is a direct fit replacement for the original 1900 Eaton supercharger on your Jaguar Land Rover 5 litre supercharged engine. So we've got our electronically controlled supercharger bypass valve, same as it is on the standard vehicle. We've also got our little uh, adapter or adjuster fixing on here to make sure that it's sitting in the perfect place as we have on the standard Eaton charger. So you'll see when we've got the supercharger bypass valves open that there's quite a big difference in how they're machined. Now, this is a really big positive of the Harrop TVS 2300. There's actually a mechanical stop for this valve machined into the top of the supercharger. So this prevents any sort of uh, erroneous movement on the electronic actuator, accidentally opening it too far and the valve potentially getting stuck open. So it's a good safety feature. On the standard one, it can free flow backwards and forwards past that sort of stoppage point. Machining wise, CNC wise, again, differences in how the air flows through here. Bearing in mind, we have a bigger, longer gear set in the Harrop. So it looks like there's not as much airflow when you initially look at it. But changing the angle you look at, you can see that's been taken into consideration and the additional airflow required for the bypass has been machined just under the lip of the top of the supercharger there. Moving to the front, where the throttle mounts to the front of the supercharger, when you look inside there again, you'll see a smoother, higher flow rate for the air. There's less interference, there's less casting getting in the way of that airflow. We can actually see through easier to the gear set there's less material there blocking the path of the air. Again, this helps improve the flow rate, helps reduce any friction and heat buildup. On the standard one, you can see there's a lot of excess casting there. It does a fantastic job, but it is nowhere near as optimized as the flow rate on the Harrop TBS 2300. And finally, moving to the very front of the supercharger, we can see the pulley. A little bit of a different design. This is actually a bolted on pulley as opposed to the interference heat fitted pulley on the standard superchargers. We've actually opted for the 70mm pulley on here, so it's a smaller pulley already than the stock approximately 80mm from the factory for the standard 
Eaton 1900 charger, you'll find on your 5 litre Jaguar. By combining this 70mm pulley with this supercharger, it still remains a bolt-on fit, so it's still a direct replacement for the vehicle. So if you've got no other modifications to the vehicle, you can fit your TVS Harrop 2300 straight to the car, no modifications needed, all the standard cooling, everything else, all fits, it's a direct replacement. The advantage you've got is the changes with the bigger gear set and the slightly smaller pulley at the front is it gives you a slight improvement in performance in a similar way to fitting a smaller pulley on your standard Eaton 1900 charger on your Jaguar. So approximately 1.5 PSI increase with a smaller pulley on the stock charger. You're looking at similar 1.5 to 2 PSI, well within the ECU's adaptive range with this bolt-on fit. Now where the real fun begins is of course combining this with a Visu remap and putting the crank pulley onto your car as well. You're unlocking huge potential at this point, well over 700 horsepower with the full upgrade package and the appropriate cooling with our charge cooler, uprated pump and chiller kit for your vehicle. This truly is a beautiful supercharger to look at. It's fantastic engineering and machining that's gone into it, and it puts a huge amount of air through to the engine, allowing us to really breathe life into that five liter engine. To find out more about the Harrop TVS 2300 supercharger, contact info at vizu.com today, or give us a call on 01789 774444 to talk to one of our team about how we can upgrade your vehicle with this phenomenal supercharger. Thanks for watching.